The guys that played a lot of minutes each and every day uh, against these great teams, Purdue, Minnesota. Um, and then today, uh, it was just a really good competitive thing. Uh, so guys are really sore, really banged up and things like that. So I feel like recovery is going to be really big for us um, going into March because we're going to need everybody uh, to contribute at a high level. So it's going to be really important. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to do as best as possible to try to recover. <laughs> Next up, we'll go with Stephen Means with from Cleveland.com. Stephen? CJ, uh, given how the end of the season went for you guys, for you guys to kind of find some momentum and some rhythm, over these last four days, how can you guys use that heading into another week where basically you're trying to win six games to win yeah. a national championship? Uh, like I said, it was just a lot of learning experiences for us uh, at the end of the season. Again, losing four in a row is not easy to deal with. Um, trying to figure out what's wrong, what's right, what we need to do better, what's wrong, and things like that. So figuring it out, you know, in March is probably the best time to figure it out. So, yeah, I'm really confident in our team. I feel like we're going to fight hard each and every game. We're going to go out there, obviously, trying to win uh, and just stand connected. So. Uh, like I said, just a great learning experience for us, you know, to show our capabilities as a team, to show that we can bounce back, show that we can win big time games. Um, yeah, like I said, I feel like the overall theme is just being connected. So I feel like as long as we do that, I feel like we'll go pretty far. And I feel like we learned a lesson from end of the season to now. Next up, Patrick Murphy with 24-7 Sports. Patrick? CJ, you just mentioned learning experiences. What was it that you guys really learned about yourself these last few days that, that got you to this point and you can take to the NCAA tournament? Uh, I was just saying being more physical uh, on both sides of the floor um, and being able to adapt, you know, trying to scout a team in one night and trying to prepare for a game uh, within a couple of hours is really hard to do. So just being connected, being able to adapt, being able to be aggressive on both ends of the floor, I feel like that was our downfall. At the end of the regular season, I feel like we did really good uh, in the Big Ten, staying connected, making the right plays, having them one that's great defensively. I feel like we've been better than we have all season um, defensively, making it tougher teams. Um, so, yeah, I feel like we learned from that and we just got better, like I said, in the Big Ten tournament. Next up, we'll go with Sean Dunnigan from WBNS 10 TV. Sean? CJ, I don't know if you've had, even had a chance to digest your region and, and where you're looking. Do you know anything about Oral Roberts who you play in the first round or any of the teams that you that you're look to play as you had, as you look to make a run in March? Uh, I do not know anything about Oral Roberts. I don't know the conference or anything, but you know, in March you have to respect each and every team, no matter what their record was, what they did previous in the season. So uh, we're going to respect them like we play any other team in the Big Ten. Um, and then I think it was Virginia Tech and Florida, uh, which are two really good teams I played previously in my college career. Good coaching staff, good players. Uh, you know, good overall team. So, um, yeah, every team has respect going into March. And we're going, you know, prepare for each and every game, going in there ready to win, ready to fight, and just try to advance. Thanks, CJ. Appreciate it. And we'll go with uh, one last question for CJ uh, from Colin Hass Hill from 11 Warriors. Colin? CJ, I know you talked about sort of the, the physical nature of these, these past four games, but, you know, with what you had to bounce back from at the end of the regular season, how close all these have been, and how much you put into all these. How how just emotionally draining have these past four games been for you guys as a team? Uh, I don't feel like the emotionally drain hasn't kicked in until probably a couple hours tonight um, after you feel everything. Obviously, after you play a game, knowing you have another game coming up, you kind of got to ignore the bumps and bruises. You just got to focus and lock in on the next game. Um, just worry about what you have to do, you know, to put your team in the best situation to win. So um, you don't really feel the emotional drain until after it's all done, until you complete the goal. And obviously, you know, it didn't turn out as we wanted to, but I think we did a lot of great things. So all the emotions, all the adrenaline and everything will probably kick in, you know, later tonight once you realize what we really did, you know, throughout this tournament. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.